hello and welcome to another video everyone thank you to all those that have subscribed and have supported me from the beginning and welcome and thank you to all the new viewers so today it's just a short video on the british army's assessment center so as you can tell by the title there might be a slight change i've had a lot of questions about this and um, so i've done a little bit of research i've had people message me saying has a two kilometer run at the assessment center changed to a beep test? I've had people saying it has changed and they've passed me some of the information. So I'm just gonna go through that today. As a lot of you may know, some of you might not know, is when you go to the British Army Assessment Center, you're gonna get three physical tests that you're assessed on to see if you're eligible to join. That was the two kilometer run, the mid five pull and the med ball throw. So far as I'm aware, the mid five pull and the med ball run is still continuing but the two kilometer run has for now been cancelled i'm not saying permanently but for now has been cancelled because of social distancing rules and they put in place the beep test because the beep test is easier to do social distancing because you can just put people one to two meters apart and they can run back and forward down the lane so some of you must be wondering what is a beep test or you might be worried so for all the worriers out there please 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 stop worrying now you have no reason to worry Yes, you might be a little bit worse at sprinting or you might get the turn wrong, okay? But the army are not just gonna put a test in that's a lot harder than a two kilometer run to watch people fail. They're not gonna do that. They need the numbers, they're recruiting, they want you to pass. So they would have set levels that are very similar to what you are on a two kilometer run. And as far as I'm aware, I've heard slightly different numbers, but if you go in sort of like infantry, frontline troops, so infantry RAC, you need to hit level 8.7, I think it is. Um, and then if you go in paras, I think it's like 11, level 11 or 11.3. But that's very similar on the run. You've got to get 10 minutes 15 or sub 10 minutes 15 for RAC um, infantry. Artillery is about 10.45, I think, same as med. You know, level, level 8.7, it's not actually that hard, okay? And then paras is 11. But what is the beep test? It's known as the pacer test, the multi-stage fitness test. So you're gonna have 20 meters set out. They're more than likely gonna do it outside now because of social distancing. Um, when we did it, when I first joined the army, it was done in the gym hall. It might still be doing that, but you'll just obviously be spread two meters apart instead of all squeeze shoulders to shoulder. Okay, there'll be a 20 meter lane, right? And then on the first beep, you're gonna set off and you, all you need to do is make it to the other side of the lane before the next beep. It starts off slow, and in every level, it gets sh uh, the beep gets shorter and shorter, which means you have to speed up. Always starts off at about a walking pace. Everyone normally runs forward, and they get to the first beep really quickly, and you stood there ages waiting, um, feeling all lost, like where's that beep, right? And then you start getting into a pace, okay? It's all about pacing yourself, um, yeah, it's all about pacing yourself and setting yourself up correctly. It starts off nice and slow. Most probably in that first one, do go a little bit quicker just so you make that first beep because you don't want to be getting a warning for not making the first beep. And then you can sort of judge how the beeps are. I think it starts off at about like 8.5 kilometers per hour for the first level, which isn't that quick. Okay, and then as the beep's getting shorter, you need to start running faster. You can start to go into a jog and then you're pretty much sort of going to be sprinting back and forward. So it's not actually really, really hard. I wouldn't say to hit a level point, le uh, level 8.7. I think what a lot of people struggle with is the mental side. And this is what I've seen um, with some of my clients and people that message me on Instagram or send me emails, is you're fitter than what you think you are. Mentally, you're giving up. And I don't mean that in a horrible way. Um, it's all about pushing yourself outside your comfort zone. And that's what the beep test is actually really good for compared to the two kilometer run. Because you can sort of do a two kilometer run, especially if you're really fit, and you can come easy with un well under the time, but you sort of not give you max because you know you're well under the time, especially for 10 minutes 15. The beep test, you've got to keep going until you're exhausted, until you miss that beep. So you're sprinting back and forward until you're exhausted. Now, all of you must be like, they've changed it. Craig's told me not to worry. You don't need to worry. Right? And the reason you don't need to worry is because you can still train for it exactly the same as I've said in all my past videos, how the army tell you to train. There isn't much difference. 
Okay, all that I'd most really do is add in a beat test every now and then. You can get apps, you can find it online. All you gotta do is get some cones, mark out 20 meters, and you can practice the beat test every two to four weeks maybe, see where you're at. But your running's still, you know, your training's still pretty much the same. Do a short distance run, I would say, each week, add in a long distance, chuck in some hill reps and intervals. So one week you can do intervals, next week you can do hill reps. Keep doing some HIIT workouts, they're great for cardio and it stops all that high impact running. You don't have to run six days a week, just saves the knees and any injuries. So add in some cycling, some swimming still, especially um, when social distancing lockdown calms down, you can go swimming. If you've got a bike, get out cycling. The gym's open very, very soon, thank God. Um, HIIT workouts, still do your strength, okay? Still work on your strength, get some resistance training in there. Get a weighted vest, I'd highly recommend. Um, I've got mine from Tactical Fitness. And then if you're really, really worried about the beep test, right, at an end of a run, or instead of doing intervals and hills, just add in some sprints, or you can do it on a workout. So lay a workout, go to the park. I do a lot of mine in the garage, but it also helps with filming, but go to a park, and one of the stations can be a 10 or 20 meter sprint. Okay, and you just got to sprint back and forward for, I don't know, 10 reps, do a few sets of that, or 30 seconds on, 45 seconds on, 60 seconds work. Sprint back and forward. Practice that turn. Some people are worried about the turn at first. It's quite easy, because like the lower levels, it's very slow. But when you do start picking up speed, okay, yeah, you do need to get the turn right. Just practice it. But your, all your training doesn't now have to switch to a beep test. Like I said, the army are not going to bring in a test and then you have to completely change your whole training and they're not gonna tell you because a lot of people don't actually know it's the beat test. So just train as if you normally, train normally as you were and then just add in a few sprints. Add in a beat test every two to four weeks. Remember, you need to train, you need to track regularly and you need to assess and I get all my clients to do that. Train, track, assess, repeat. All right, and then you're gonna see um, how you progress. If you're just training and you're not tracking and you're not assessing, you don't actually know if you're improving. So, train as if you normally were. If you wanna add in some sprints, then definitely add in some sprints. Add in a beep test every now and then. One, it's good practice, and two, it's good to assess to see where you are, especially if you're quite nervous about it. But also, what you need to do needs to remember, on the day, I promise you, you will perform better than you most probably ever have, because you have everyone watching, you have adrenaline, and you'll be keen to do your best so that you can pass and carry on um, I can't speak today. Carry on into the army and you know have a career that you want. So on the day, trust me, you will do better than you most probably have done in training. It's like race day. You get all these athletes, they go, uh, you get all these athletes, they go on race day and they, they, they always perform so much better, unless they're having a, hard day, a bad day. But they normally do, the adrenaline, you've got people watching, you know, you're excited and stuff like that. So I hope this has helped. Train as if you normally would. Get a short run in each week, definitely get some long runnings in, get some mileage in the legs, um, some HIIT workouts. If you want to add in intervals and hill reps and then a beep test, you know, every two to four weeks to assess, add in sprints in your workouts, add in sprints at an ed end of a run. Um, do a long run and then add in 10, 15, 20 sprints uh, and just enjoy it. Get yourself out of your comfort zone. Remember never to give up, okay? I hope this has helped. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Click that subscription button and leave in the comments any videos that you wanna see. And before we go, actually, we're close to hitting 20K. So leave a comment in below with a sort of fitness challenge that you'd like to see me do. I'll have a read through and I think any of them um, that really just sort of like catch my eye, I'll definitely give it a go for when we hit 20K subs. Thank you very much and I will see you in future videos.